video? Uh, yeah. yeah, well just tell us, tell us what you thought of that. Oh, nice. This guy, very, very good for cuts. Yeah. Yeah, so. Tell us about the tree. What is this tree? Yeah. It, oh, it's dying with tree that has cut it perfect, so it's okay. Yeah, which yeah. Way, it was leaning pretty hard, yeah? Or? Yeah, pretty hard. Yeah. Maybe uh, 165 feet. Yeah. You think it's 65? Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. Looks, it looks a little bigger on the ground than it does in the air, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. But the side lean, I mean, it was, all, it was tough to tell because you had this maple here. Yeah. Exactly what was going on when you're trying to look at it from the high yeah. side here. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we got the truck up there with the pole line yeah. on this kind of angle. It was leaning pretty hard like this way, straight down this way. I was worried it was gonna, I was going to lose it to the bushes. So we put the pole line up here. Then it didn't look like we had a lot of front lean. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Bernardo. Yeah. And uh, so then I made that sizz wheel right there. That's my, my version of the sizz wheel cut right there, that little corner cut. And I started with uh, more of a tapered hinge. I might be a little too high on the back cut there, to be honest with you. I mean, that could have been something that was holding it up. Uh, another inch down, but it, I was cutting it, you know, at, at shoulder or head height. You know, it was a little difficult to swing the saw up there. I, th I threw it up there the first time and thought I was good. Anyhow, mulberry, dead mulberry. If it was locust, it would have hinged no problem, dead or alive. Mulberry, very unreliable hinge wood. So, I'm happy to have the cut there. Let's take a look at what the wood looks like on this side here. There it is. There's the notch and all that holding wood. Pretty good, pretty good amount of holding wood, especially for dead mulberry. Man, I've seen a lot worse. And when people talk about thin hinges, you know, do me a favor. You get yourself a pole line and a truck, and and pull these trees over. You'll realize. Thick hinges hold better than thin hinges, but they gotta have room to move. That's what that scissor wheel's about. That's what the step cut's about. You gotta have a little flexibility in this very front of the hinge here. If you can move a little bit, it transfers the weight more evenly across the whole length of the hinge instead of the hinge just ripping from back to front. If it can, if it can tweak a little bit, then it can, it can hold that weight much more evenly. I wish we had a video of it, but I didn't have a guy here for, for the video for the drop. But it was a little hairy. I'll be honest with you. Because it was, it was heading out pretty hard this way. And I, when I looked at it from this side, it was just heading right out this way over here. And I wasn't sure even with the two, the, 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 the lean being this way and the pull being that way, if we would even have enough to get it going this way. If there was enough weight, I didn't even have a wedge with me. So next time I'll come a little more prepared. I thought this was going to be a little easier than what it was. Thanks for watching.